So today, Chloe and I had the opportunity to go take part in something really interesting here in New Zealand, and that was a local protest. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five-week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents and 98 countries. We've been blessed to spend many months here in New Zealand and explored everything from the very top to the very bottom. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. So the way this all came about is the other day I was downtown at a meeting and I met a local farmer who isn't just the average farmer. He's actually a public speaker. He goes around the world and he's making a difference for farmers. He comes from generations of farmers and he wrote a book called The Resilient Farmer. He helps farmers who are going through a tough time. Uh, rural, rural men uh, are about uh, half as slightly again. So yeah, we've got a really big problem. And, uh, you know, it's partly through isolation and it's also partly that rural men actually know how to do it in that moment of brokenness. So I wrote that book. It's, it's sold globally. There's 22,000 copies sold. I've done speaking tours across um, England, Ireland, uh, Wales and Scotland. And as a direct result of my tour there, Scotland are introducing a new program called Farmstrong, which is across New Zealand. So wow. that we've never, ever uh, really taught people is we've taught people how to strive and try, but we've never taught people strongly about how to deal with their failure. Mm. And we all have failure. Failure is a part of success. In countries, New Zealand relies on its primary production more than anyone else. Yes. So there's nothing actually really wrong with what the government are, are offering. It's the way that they're doing it and people have had enough. If you're thinking protests from what's been happening around the world this year, it is nothing like what you would imagine. Farmers say they're fed up at not being listened to by the government. They want more of a say in the freshwater regulations and they don't want a tax on their utes, the ute tax. Uh, today, they'll roll through the streets up and down the country on their tractors and uh, with their horses and their dogs and even the crop planes. We've doubled the speed at which we finish lambs, so that's halving the admissions. We've built soil carbons like we've never done before. And, you know, this, this outfit uh, that's running us now just has no acknowledgement of what's been achieved. <laughs> Chloe and I have never been part of a protest before. This is our first time. Well, this is the first time for us too. First, yeah, I was absolutely shocked to see how many actually showed up. Um, it was like literally tractor after tractor and so many people um, just in their gumboots with their dogs coming out to make a point and make themselves heard. Food is made on farms and we care. This is unbelievable what we're taking part in today. We are making history here in New Zealand. This is a people action, you know, people are really annoyed with what's going on. They're being ignored and so they are, have said enough's enough and they're out here today with their tractors and their utes and saying, well, you know, listen to us. We are part of New Zealand as well. So and I think it's really history? important. We, it is, oh, this is, this is, history. is history. Yeah, I mean, they made a mess in the paddock behind us here. But, but a bit of grass yeah. seed, a bit of sun will be fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop the Ute tax. Yes. Now, National will reverse all of it. Oh. oh, good man! Good girl, you take care. Don't Sorry. run her over, buddy. You hear the dogs back there? Oh. 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 Go on, oh. We got it. We got it. Oh. 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 Yes, I want to make sure this is representing New Zealand. That's it. Yeah, New Zealand to the world. There you go. Yeah. We need freedom. More of it. In case if you're wondering why there's all these dogs here, they're all going to howl. 
We have cyclones, and because of that, we drive vehicles that common sense dictate. It's not anything else that dictates what we drive. Certainly won't be someone sitting in Wellington. This is what we stand for. You are the farmers, the rural area that have built this country. Because you are the people who make things, you grow things, you export things, you feed us. Thank you. No farmers, no food. Remember that. From bad policy coming out of Wellington. It's not just taxes on utes, it's SNAs with a planner straight out of uni with a felt tip colouring in aerial photographs and telling you what you can or can't do with land that might have been in your family for generations. For generations. No, no, enough's enough and we need to stand up for our rights. Us Kiwi farmers, we're like the backbone of New Zealand. Yes. And without us, uh, everyone doesn't really realise what we offer. Them. The country's basically bugging without us. So we need to be respected and um, treated like good upstanding citizens. So this is what we saw. This is what it was all about. Let us know in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think the government's going to do something? And will their voices be heard?